Here he come. Have an eye. I don't know if a lot of you is following me on social media or not. How you doing today, by the way? My name is Bill Self. Welcome to the Bilser Show. I blew my drive shaft up in the old Chevy pickup there last week. And uh, it took the transmission out with it. So that's why I haven't been doing much content on the uh, the new build back there because I'm back to fix my old truck again because when the friggin' drive shaft went, it destroyed the transmission. Like, I mean, broke it in a piece. I'll show you here when I get out of here. I just finished putting another used transmission in. It's another 700R4 skins. So we'll have to see how it works. I'm sure it's going to be fine because it looks cleaner than the one I put in originally. Yes, we're shooting a 50-50 gamble shot here by putting a used one in, but... I just can't go out and buy another tranny. So this one I found on Marketplace for 400 bucks. Let's see what happens. But I put the tranny in in like no time flat. I just got to tighten up the cross member, this bolt, and bolt up the torque converter. The hardest job to put this back in, believe it or not, was putting the dipstick in and getting the hole line up on the transmission and put the bracket. That took me forever. It did. Like I'm talking too long. Like, ridiculously too long. I'm up here right now working on the torque converter and we're gonna put the torque converter bolts back in. I seem to have my bolts right here with some Loctite and we're gonna see how far off we are because it shouldn't be far off. I'm thinking that it must be this one. We'll get these started and we'll make sure everything lines up right because not cool. Not a cool thing to happen boys, girls, peoples. And you probably, whoever works on more vehicles understands what I'm talking about. I noticed my valve covers are leaking like a sieve. So that kind of makes you feel better because I was wondering where all the oil is coming from down here in the lower block area. Where's my valve cover? That's pretty damn good. I'll, I'll take that big time. But we'll get this torque converter done up and then we'll give her a spin job and we'll get the rest of them in. Little bits at a time, Jim. There it is. There's the other one right there. Look at that. Would you look at it? Always make sure you lock tight bolt your doodads. Lock tight your torque converter doodad bolts. Hey, look at that, line right up. What's the chance of that? You only have to put in all three before you can tighten them. But hey, how did a bee get down here? What are you doing under my truck? That dumb bee. The header wraps uh, from Amazon's holding up pretty good as you can see here too. So that's pretty good. I was a little concerned about that. She's bent. He's friggin' mint, Tim. Oh, is it gonna go? Oh my God, look at that. Would you look at it? Let's turn that down a little further so I can get to it better. If I can. Hurt, he hurt, hurt. There you are, how you doing? You get in there. Thank God when my tranny went sideways in the tunnel here, it didn't bend my flex plate or anything. So that's a good thing. I think it might've moved my starter hair. So I'm gonna have to loosen it up and just give it a little bit of a doodad. But it doesn't look too bad. I should probably do that. Oh, careful. I think it hurts nothing. Whatever. Oh, it has to smoke you. It looks like it's on fire, but all right. Well, you got the damn stove too high. Damn kids. Burn my house down. Insurance, how you doing? All right. This high-powered 305 only needs three torque converter bolts. I wonder if the lockup's gonna work this time too. That'll be interested. Interesting. So there we go. That's on. We got to clean up this a little bit and paint this part. I painted the top part already. We got to find a spring for the linkage because I lost that when she took off. Like I said, we got to tighten up these cross member bolts. And then we got to measure for a new drive shaft, which I'm going to go to London Drive Lines to get myself a new drive shaft. It's going to cost me about 500, 600 bucks, but. <laughs> what are you gonna do? We need a drive shaft. It sucks when you blow a drive shaft. Nothing like blowing a drive shaft, Jim. Well, there is something like blowing a drive shaft. It sucks. So, there you go. Now you know what it's like to blow a drive shaft. I hope I don't get demonetized because I'm showing off my belly here. But I can't help. My shirt's riding up, Jim. I got a shirt that's riding, Captain. <sighs> what am I looking for? I don't know. Let's get out and look. I bought these nuts and bolts from 
TSC, well, PV Mart, Farmer's Outlet, whatever the heck you want to call it. They're out of the same bin, but we got a 5 8 head with an 18 mil nut. Figure that one out. I sure the hell can't figure that one out. But it is what it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ow. How you doing? Crossmember it tight. Now we gotta loosen the bolts up on the training mount because it's too far forward. And we gotta slide it back just a little bit. It's actually a really nice night out tonight, thank God, because it was hot. And I wouldn't be under here. I took three days off from doing this. I threw the training in one night after work. And I was getting sweating and I was getting eaten by mosquitoes. The mosquitoes are awful this year. Let me know if they're awful where you are. So, holy, can't move my engine. Oh, that's heavy. Her. Oh, yeah. Her. Not happening. Hold on. We'll get her. Hope I don't have this mount on backwards. Why is it so tight? Well, you know, you got your mount on backwards there, Jim. Ah, oh, for dick sucker's sakes, eh? Why wouldn't I have it on backwards? Her. Her. Oh, her. Her. Him. I'll tell you one thing. That engine do not want to move. I might put my jack under here. And jack that up and check it because it seems awful tight. It shouldn't be that tight. Let's see what we can find out. Right about there. Hop, 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 hop. Oh, yeah. Look at that speed action. Okay, wait a minute. Not on that part. Right there. Oh, yeah. Hi. Uh oh, oh. Fuck off. Ricky. Holy. There we go. Centered it is. Boom. All right, so now we're good. We know we're not too wedged. So now we can tighten the bolt back up on the mount. There's a nut, there's a washer for the transmission bolt. Now I just gotta find the nut for it. Let's try to find a nut, I guess. It's gotta be here somewhere. Lay this out of the way and have a boo. Can you see it? I can't. Frig, where are you? No, 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 under here. No, what the F? I know I didn't pick it up. There it is. I see it. It's probably quicker to go this way to get it. Here it is. Yep, that's her. Please be the same, please. Of course it's bigger. One bigger. Why wouldn't it be? Did you miss me? Probably not. He dropped my nuts. My nuts. Do, 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 do. My nuts. Oh, yeah. Here we go. So we got flywheel done up, bell housing tight, training cross member tight, training mount tight. Got to get spring for shifter control module. Training lines are tight. Dipsticks in. Shift valve cable is up there, but not hooked up. We can do that when it's on the ground when I can reach the engine. Other than that, all we get left to do is measure for a drive shaft. So to measure for a drive shaft, you want to stick your thing in the hole and bring it out an inch. Stick it in the hole, bring it out an inch. And then you measure center to center, and that gives us a drive shaft, dude, dad. So when this drive shaft broke, it hit here just a tad. It hit here, and it hit on the exhaust back there and over there. And it exited the vehicle without one hit on the body or underneath the truck. Didn't put one dent in the floor at all. I can't friggin' believe it. And it was a violent exit. It was. But anyways, there we go. Training is in. Drive shaft measurement. And Bob's your friggin' uncle. Here's the trainer that come out of the truck. I better show it to you because you won't believe me if I don't show it to you. Here's my daughter's bike that I asked her to put away 16,000 fucking times. So here's the training. That's the front of the training there. There's a bell housing. So the tranny come out really easy. It's basically out. 
I just had to take the crossmember out to come out, and I was able to take the bell housing off after. So that was kind of nice. That made it easy. We kind of lost the back half of her. That kind of disassembled itself as well. So that's what happened to that 700R4 when, uh, when the drive shaft grenaded. I do have a chunk of drive shaft. Here's what's left of the drive shaft. That's part of it. The old 305 or 316 just tore the drive shaft out of itself. So that wasn't bad. This is why I haven't been working on the camper van. It's coming up. I just bought a thing of Bondo for the side of it, which is ridiculous in price. $79 for Bondo now. Unbelievable. But anyways, we got that. Going to get this back together. Going to get a drive shaft in a couple weeks. And that's about it. So thanks for coming along. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the like button. I mean, give me a like for God's sakes. Help me fund my drive shaft. The more views I get, the more funds I get for drive shaftage. So have a good night. Love you all. We'll see you later.